back. Um, thank you all for watching the Benelux Speedrunner Gathering. We organize monthly gatherings in the Benelux for speedrunners, and we're currently streaming for, for you live from Blottel, the Netherlands. We're raising money for the Dutch Cancer Society, a nationwide organization committed to fight cancer while aiming for more cure and a higher quality of life for those already battling the disease. 95% of your donations will go to the Dutch Cancer Society. The other 5% will help improve the quality of the stream. And with that said, I would like to pass the mic over to Yesser and give him the best of luck on this run. Um, hi, I'm your FD speedrunner and I'm going to do Portal Glitchless. Uh, before I start, I have quick things I can't do. Uh, the f I can't go out of bounds, can't place portals out of, out of bounds. I uh, can't use the advanced backwards hop, so we, uh, movement will be mostly just normal hopping and bunny hopping. Uh, besides that, uh, you might think, is that a glitch? Short answer, no. Without further ado, um, let's start. Uh, can we have countdown? In three, three two, two, one, go! <laughs> All right, so first off, we start with uh, about a minute of nothing. Um, we're in this vault, and yeah, that's pretty much everything. I notice my sensitivity is a bit low. I'm gonna quickly change that before. All right, that's better. So, uh, for those who don't know Portal, Portal is a puzzle game uh, from Valve, released uh, somewhere in 2007, I believe. And the voice you're hearing right now is Gladys. We'll be seeing uh, and hearing more of her later. So if there are any donations already... We sadly do not, but we do have an, a few incentives coming up tonight. We have a glitch exhibition for Dark Souls All Bosses 2 Player 1 Controller, which is 128 euros away. And after that, we have a Hotline Miami at New Game Plus All Levels Skip Slash Glitch Exhibition, which is 119 euros away from being met. So if you want to see those, be sure to get your donations in. All right. Uh, it's first uh, level, level zero. Uh, this it's very easy. Just place the box on the button. Um, if you want to go really fast, you can throw it. But um, physics in this game are weird, so I wasn't going to try it. Also, level two is uh, level one. This is more is uh, quite a bit boring because um, we have to get that box over there on that button by uh, waiting a little bit. The game uh, really starts off once you get the first portal gun. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. All right, also thing you'll be seeing me do quite a bit is quick saving, quick loading. I have just uh, two buttons for that. So, in this JB we get the uh, portal gun, but we have to wait for Gladys to stop monologuing. So, uh, behind me is my co-host. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself yes, a little bit? Yes, uh, my name is Slyset. I uh, will be sitting here <laughs> and uh, listen to Gladys monologuing. <laughs> she likes to do that a lot. Yes. So right, now we have the first, portal, first part of the portal gun. Uh, we won't be seeing too much weird tricks now. It's mostly uh, optimization. Like placing portals uh, at the other side of the room instead of walking or jumping there. Wish I could do that in real life. I wish that too. Like that. It's uh, also a thing that will happen quite a lot that uh, she gets cut off in the middle of a sentence. So the game does weird things when you go fast. Especially later in the game, you will uh, you'll see that. Welcome to test chamber four. 
All right, uh, the, these first puzzles are yet rather easy, just doing things like place the button on the box, get the energy ball where they should go. Uh, around levels six, seven, we're gonna see uh, some uh, skips. Right. And now we throw this radio through there and this camera as well. That doesn't do anything, but uh, the elevator only moves when we s when Gladys stops talking. There's uh, quite a bit of that in this game. Alright, see the first skip of this game. The energy ball should be go in that thing uh, on my left right now. Let's we can also skip it like this. It, it's uh, easier than it looks. Uh, in the next room we will do about the same thing. But yeah, it's uh, difficult to explain it. Uh, explains itself rather, rather well. There's a portal over here. Yeah, that's the game does that when I save. So that's uh, this. Uh, this is quite an interesting room. I'm gonna wait for that ball. If I touch it, I die. But yeah, that little ledge I just jumped over. Easy. <laughs> it's a weird thing with crouching and having momentum. Momentum is everything. Momentum in this game, uh, it's weird. Uh, see that in the upcoming chamber. Oh yeah, this uh, chamber is also uh, supposed to be impossible, but it isn't. You heard it, guys? Impossible. Impossible is yeah, possible. Believe in yourself. So normally we time these runs with uh, in-game time. So this is kind of a, a weird thing to watch. I'm gonna shoot this portal and go through it as it's placed at the other side, like that. And here I'll try to uh, get enough momentum to skip a platform, just like that. I think that trick you did is called a peek portal, right? Uh, yes, portal peeking, it's called. You can stand outside of the portal place it and shoot another portal since their portals are technically projectiles it takes a little bit of time for them to reach the wall we'll see quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of that later on so here we'll get the second half of the portal gun all right There we go. Nice. So coming up is a, a weird trick around uh, momentum. Um, Gladys should have explained it earlier, but we skipped that, we skipped that little bit of dialogue. Um, the angle you enter a portal is also the angle you exit a portal. So that can make some weird things happen. Give it one more try. Like that. Like I said, this game has some weird physics. It uh, can help us, but also work against us quite a bit. We.
that are trying to remember what room came now. Oh yeah, this is uh, an easy room. Normally you should get a second box, but you can also do this. So um, coming up is a skip that's kind of intended by the developers. Because uh, you also have challenges in this game, and you need to beat this stage or this uh, chamber in 10 seconds or less. Normally, you have to solve quite a large puzzle, but almost doing it like that saves like uh, uh, one minute and a half. That one was intended by the developers. The rest probably isn't. Uh, I'm going to see if I get a fast cycle here. And I did. That's nice. And I screwed it up anyway. Yeah, that happens. We're going to do portal peeking again a few times. And we skipped like 80% of this puzzle. What did you mean uh, by your good cycle? Um, the energy ball I used um, has, is on a cycle. If I'm fast enough, I can make the quickest cycle possible. Which I initially did, but then later on I failed again when I, when I placed some other portals. So now we're going to meet the turrets. They are rather cute. But, uh, don't don't love them too much, except from behind. Can we mock the turrets with some donations? Uh, we probably can. Well, in that case, uh, we have a one euro donation from Marty saying, Good luck with the run, and can I get a re from the host? Oh, yes, you can. We also have a one euro donation from Kimito saying, Hello, guys. Really intrigued by how this game can be beat under 20 minutes glitchless. Shout outs to Daniel and her daughter watching from home. So that was the portal, this was the third room. So now we're going to meet our best friend, the Companion Cube. Companion Cube is going to help us uh, quite a lot in this stage. It's going to protect us and going to help us climb. And I died. I can't save you from everything. The symptoms most commonly produced by enrichment center testing are superstition, Perceiving inanimate objects as a lie. People are wondering, I am jumping uh, mostly by using the scroll wheel. It's a bit easier than spamming uh, spamming spacebar. So, what I'm going to do now is grab this camera. Place companion cube on top. And just climb up here. Sadly... We have to we have to say goodbye for to the companion cube. Sorry, companion cube. See you next run. But do not fear; it's not fully harmed. It's it's okay. For those who've played Portal 2, you know it's okay. So this is the second to last testing chamber. Also, this is quite an interesting uh, skip. Normally, this is one of uh, casually one of the hardest puzzles. We have to get a box to open up that door. But you can also keep it open just a little bit. And this is what I mean by pushing glitchless quite hard. It's, it, it's not a glitch, but still.
So we have time for a quick donation if we have any. We do not have any donations, but we do have uh, just a little bit more time to get enough money in for Cat Mario, which is uh, two games from now. We still need about 300 euros to l let that be met. And come on, we all want to see an extra game. Just, oh, just try and Cat Mario is nice. Cat Mario is a really fun run to Cat watch. Cat Mario is amazing. I, I wouldn't want to play casually, but uh, <laughs> speedrunning is quite interesting. So this is now the last testing chamber. Uh, first, we're going to do so, uh, some portal peeking. Alright, so we skipped to the, the part where Gladys wanted to kill us. Uh, let's see what the audio does here. Oh, it's, is it Gladys is now... Yeah, that's a little visual glitch. <laughs> So Gladys is now still talking about uh, killing us while we are far past that point. And that's what I meant with these. Uh, the game doesn't really know what to do when we go fast. So we're now back in chamber four. But there's no elevator, so we drop down here. Now let's see if we can get the fast cycle here with the moving pistons that will be on the right. It does look like it. Now we're gonna skip a few triggers. Normally these pistons should be moving, but I skipped a trigger for that. So I can just move through it without any problems. So now we'll be on the uh, final part of the game, I would say. We can open the po bottom part of this door by touching it. Turn the turret aside. Placing a portal over here. Uh, that portal is in a good spot. Place this portal over, uh, just turn it over here. We do need that turn later. Normally, there will be a rocket turret breaking the glass that's behind this door. But we let the turret break it for us. Let's see if we can get the fast one. No, now we have to wait for this turret to break this piece of glass. Normally, we would uh, have the rocket turret break that tube as well, but jumping through the in, in, into the vent like this also works pretty well. All right. So this is also quite an interesting trick. It's the same thing with going into the same angle and momentum where the portal is going out. That skipped us uh, about 20 seconds. So now we're closing in on Gladys. There she is. Hi, Gladys. So, um, if host wants to say anything, uh, now is a good moment. Uh, well, our laptop just crashed, so you'll have to wait a few more seconds. <laughs> oh, no worries. Um, Classic technical difficulties. Even I can't get away from them. That stuff happens. And uh, I'll explain what we're going to do. Um, from that hatch over there, as a rocket turret going to spawn. And uh, we have to shoot Gladys with our own rockets while Neurotoxin, uh, while Neurotoxin is pouring from these vents on the wall. We have about say six minutes to do it. If everything goes right, I do it in less than one. Because uh, as soon as Gladys gets hit by a turret, one of these extra cores gets loose and scours around the arena and we have to grab it and throw it in the fire over there. Her voice is so soothing. Se weirdly enough, yeah. Alright, we just have to do that uh, 
two more times. Is there still time to kind of fit in the donation? Uh, if you wait like, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds, the run is over. <laughs> so time is also coming up soon. Ah, oh, messed that up a little bit. All right. Uh, time comes up when I destroy the last core. And time. So that's how you do portal glitchless in less than uh, 20 minutes. I uh, want to thank thank uh, BSG for having me, and thanks everyone at the venue for being here. Hi guys, and thanks everyone for watching. And I don't have anything left to say. Well, good thing that you don't, because I do. We have two 10 euro donations. One from Christian L saying, look at me still talking when there's science to do. And we also have a 10 euro donation from the Companion Cube saying, don't worry about me. It's hot, but I'll survive. Tell GLaDOS when she goes low, we go fast. We're also going to be playing three minutes of ads, so um, stay tuned and we'll see you in just a moment.